Look, uh, my point yesterday was that it is the first time in my political career that I have been to a state and literally when I went from one area, from a cookie area to a Meitei area, no cookies could come with me and when I went from Meitei area to cookie area, uh, no Meiteis could come with me. So my point was that the politics of division and the politics of hatred has created a division in the state and that division needs to be repaired. The, the hatred that the BJP has spread needs to be removed and bridges need to be built between the two communities. That was my point about uh, Manipur and I, I framed it by saying that the idea of India which is respect, love and affection between communities has been destroyed in Manipur by the BJP. And that idea of India where people respect each other, uh, have affection for each other needs to be repaired. That was my point. Uh, please, you know, we have, we have said... It's very interesting to me and I, I still don't understand it. Uh, you can sit down. And I still don't understand it. Why is the Prime Minister of India not gone to Manipur till today. It's, it's a puzzle that I, I cannot answer. He is the Prime Minister of our country. A state is burning for four months. The government has absolutely no control over it. The government has essentially surrendered. And the Prime Minister does not think that he has a responsibility to go to the state to try and calm things down. It's a, it's a shocking thing to me. Thank you very much. And I think uh, after the elections, I will come here for a longer trip. Uh, I, I think I need to travel a little bit in the Northeast. I need to travel in Mizoram and meet uh, as many of the people of Mizoram as possible. So I'm looking forward to doing that. Please keep in mind that this election is about your development. It is about a vision for the future of Mizoram. But it is also about defending the idea of Mizoram. Defending your freedoms, defending your tradition, defending your religion. And remember, and I do not say this lightly, remember the MNF and the ZPM are entry points for the BJP. The BJP is using them as a platform to enter Mizoram and then to play havoc in Mizoram. Please ensure that the BJP's game is foiled and remember that the Congress party is the only party that fights the BJP tooth and nail and it is the party that is most vis uh, aggressively attacked by the BJP. That is the way you know who is fighting the BJP is how aggressively the BJP fights. The BJP has taken away my membership, they have taken away my house, they have attacked me, they put 25 cases on me. This is an indication of how aggressively we fight the BJP. Because we believe fundamentally that the BJP is a threat not just to Mizoram. The RSS is a threat to the idea of India and we are going to defend the idea of India in every single state including Mizoram. So I want the youngsters when they are voting to think about this. Do not let your vote become a entry point for the BJP. Stop the BJP because the consequences will not be good. I love coming here. I love the people of Mizoram and I look forward to meeting you. Uh, unfortunately, during the Bharat Jodo Yatra, we, we went south to north, but hopefully I will come and spend some detail quality time with the youngsters of Mizoram. Thank you very much. And